Would you like to learn a colorful technique just by using your ink pads? It's super fun. Come on in. I'm going to teach you how today. I'm Dawn, creator of DD Creates Crafts, and this is the channel for simple cards, helpful hands, duplicatable projects you'll be able to make just by watching one of my videos. Are you ready to create some crafts? I'm going to turn the camera down now and teach you this technique. I'm calling it get you lined up okay I'm calling it spritz and splatter this particular card I used fall colors because it's kind of fall am I right so I just uh, it's just cute and fun so I'm gonna put it there and let's get started I am let me get out all my moving parts here is here is our little card we're gonna make all my little fun stuff and you can either use the shimmer paper, you can use the watercolor paper. I'm going to try it, you guys. I'm going to try it on just regular paper. So let's just see how we do. It might be a little scary and it might be fun and I don't know, but we're going to see what happens. Sometimes I like to experiment when I'm with you because I want you to see that everything I do doesn't necessarily come out correctly or the way I want it just like when you're making your designs it does the same thing so I'm going to open up I'm going to work with Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party so we're going to go the opposite of fall colors we're just going to get funky fun with our in colors there are five in colors and we're gonna play with two of them today. Now with the blending brushes, you get three of these. I think it's for $12.50, so very good bang for your buck. And mine are stained, but I don't need one. For, and look, different color stains. You don't need one for every color you own. That's the beauty of it. They clean very nicely just by rubbing them on some paper. So let's do, and the other trick before I get started, we're gonna start off our paper and then blend onto our paper. Now you guys tell me if I get off that track and I get too excited and start on the paper. Because I've done that. Have you guys done that where you know what to do but you don't do what you should do? Oh, it's called life, am I right? Oh my goodness gracious. All right, these colors are fun. And yes, I'm overlapping. Just thought it'd be cute and fun. All right, let me keep going. This isn't even your technique yet. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just some blending, some fun. We're basically making our own uh, pattern cardstock, aren't we? Pattern paper. I've got me a little piece of uh, scrap I'm coloring on. Uh, <sighs> Can I just give you a true confession? I tend to do that, don't I? See this thing, see this grid paper? I try, okay, don't laugh. I try to use one for the whole month. I know, why do I think I need to do that? But I tell myself it saves time and money. Not sure it does either of that, but hey. The other thing you can do is you can come in with one of the colors and just kind of rough up the edges. It's gonna deepen the edges and I'm not, I'm just trying to honestly, just trying, trying to do only the edge. And I'm only using one color even though we're playing with some stripes. Stinking cute. All right. Five colors, you guys. This is, I really highly recommend these colors. I think you'll use them, use them, use them. Everything's so matchy-matchy. And what I mean by that is the bling and the twine, and then there's even pattern paper that matches it. How cool is that? This is six by six paper. You get 40 sheets, and one color gives you four different patterns. I use this a lot, a lot, a lot. So I wanted to share that with you and this stuff we're going to use in a little bit because you know I always do my ribbon and bling or twine and bling, but I do, 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 do use it both at the same time. Okay, the reason, the very reason I started DD Creates Crafts channel is to one, introduce you to me. To introduce you to Stampin' Up! products because I'm an independent demonstrator and 
products like today's colorful paper and inks. And three, I wanna show you how to use these products once you've ordered them. And how do I do that? I'm gonna teach you with videos like this, Tuesday techniques, Friday fun folds and fun cards, and teach you how to make simple cards that you can duplicate, you can copy, and you can make just by watching a video. Did you know that when you order products with me, I send you gifts and free stuff? Yeah, I do. And it also helps support this channel. So thank you to those of you that are already doing that. I appreciate you. All right, now it's time to start getting into some of our techniques. So I've got this one. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this in. This is our Tahitian Tide. Whoop. All right, so I'm gonna mark it up, mark it up, mark it up, because we're gonna use this in a sec. And I'm also going to, these are our, I think they're called blender pens. There's three of them for 12. So that is a good price point. You, for this technique, we're about to get onto our technique, is filled with rubbing alcohol, but you can use also use water. It just takes a pinch longer to dry. So since I'm on the video, I did go ahead and use the rubbing alcohol with one of my blender pens. There are three different sizes, a nice big fat, one a nice uh, what would you call that kind of a detailed one and right in the middle which I want to use today so I'm gonna actually yeah I th eh, it doesn't matter where I blend it you can use reinkers you can use ink I don't have any reinkers true confession so I'm just gonna use this are you ready not have enough ink and water let me spritz it out a little there I go whoa here's our splatter part am I right and you can make it let me get a little more you can make some big old blotches like that oh here we go here's some nice splotches let me get more color works better when I poke it with my little finger pat it like we do what do we do? Like the edge of a nail polish bottle when we're trying to get it all mixed up. So that's your splatter part. Let's get on to the spritzy part, which is just some water in the spritz bottle. And I'm going to uh, spritz the paper and spritz our ink. And then it's just going to give a little lighter effect with your paper. And the other thing you can do is fill this with reinker, fill this with color and spritz the color right onto this, which I probably should have done, but I didn't do it. What? I know, sometimes I make mistakes too. <laughs> but you get the effect, you get the idea, even with us just spritzing some water. So I like the effect we've got going on so far. What do you think, what do you think? Are you having fun? Have you learned something new? Is this new to you, this little spritz and splatter? If it is, I want you to go like this, go boop, and hit the like button, because that tells YouTube that you want other crafters to see these videos and I hope you do I hope you're enjoying them enough that you would like others to see these as well so this is our little baby technique I thought what I'd do is assemble us a card so step one just make you a base eight and a half by five and a half fold it in half or score it at four and a quarter and then I used one of the patterns the matchy matchy in color patterns in four by five and a quarter, so that'll line up nicely. And then the white layer is actually three and three quarters by five, which we can either line it up like that, but I thought I might go ahead and put, I was debating about adding a little thingy to it, or we could slice it this way, slice it this way. That might be fun too. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna slice it down the middle. So we're gonna have a little bitty bit so what did we say? This is five, so let me do two and a half. I'm gonna do two and a quarter, you got. Let me do two and a half, and then I'm just gonna lob it off, because if you've been with me a while, you know me in math. So okay, I'm gonna do two and a quarter, and then I'm gonna come back on each of my edges and lob off um, 
about one eighth, and let me see if that gives us enough of a little definition in the very center where it'll show through our, there I go, print. Yeah, I like it, I like it. I was actually going to do a strip down the middle, but I like the look of this much, much better. It just looks a little artsy to me. I don't know why, but I feel like it does. And then to make it cute and fun, I've already pre-stamped, here's my stamps, the sweet songbird. You've seen me use him before. He's so sweet. <laughs> you just want to talk baby talk to with your stamp. It's so stinking cute. And then you don't even need a die with that. You need a punch. It comes with a punch. And when you order the stamp set and the punch together as a bundle, you save 10%. The other thing I punched out for us, I'm not sure I'm going to use it yet. You're going to help me by telling me in the comments is some clouds. I have a cloud punch. Punches out some clouds, either to make a scenery. I thought, would it look cute if we put our sentiment on that? The other thing I thought I'd do is I want to go ahead and go ahead and die cut a baby circle in case I don't like the sentiment on the clouds. I will already have a little baby circle for the sentiment cut out. And when the sentiments are white, I am just not a lot of white on white girls. So I tend to put the little, look, it just barely peeks through the little ruffle. How cute was that? And this was the mini die cut machine. Look how mini in proportion to my hand. Look at the little trays. They're a little over three inches. This is so portable and so awesome to take to your retreats and your craft dates and your craft weekends, maybe a stamp camp to travel with it. Maybe you travel and you're, you have to sit for hours on end at night in a hotel room. This is just so cute and fun to have with you and go ahead and do your crafting. Oh. This is so stinking cute. I don't know if I want the clouds. I might. It's kind of cute. Uh, let's see if we like this better, you guys. I do. I made a career decision. <laughs> I like it better. Okay, so let me get out some Memento Black. You can use a color for your... Is this the right direction? I'm just going to do a little... Practice, because do you guys ever do that? Have you ever stamped your sentiment upside down? I guess on a circle it doesn't matter, does it? But if it's not a circle, it is just wrong, because it'll just come out wrong. Now, I went a little heavy-handed on the D, but right now I think it looks a little funky fun and a little bit of, I don't know, adding to the whimsy of the bird, my strong bird that I talk baby talk to. All right, is that just the silliest thing in the world or do you guys talk baby talk to your cute stamps? I don't know. I've got a, oh, not, yeah, ladybug punch that I talk baby talk to too. And the ladybug, I'm gonna do a whole class on this. I had a subscriber ask about that. Have you ever done a class? Because I can show you how to turn the ladybug punch into about seven different animals. What? Yeah, I think that'd be stinking cute too. All right, so our spritz and splatter, I'm gonna go ahead and put down with a little glue. You love it. You know I love me my glue. It's just, honestly, it's a good price point. It's very affordable. And um, it gives us that wiggle room. All right, I am really liking this tone on tone color. Sometimes I like to put a little mat between a color if the color just seems to blend right into the mat. You know, maybe I'd put a little, just eighth of an inch little bitty layer between our technique layer and the actual in color layers, but I am with the pattern, which is a uh, flowers. I hate when the word leaves your brain, don't you? All right, 
And let's see where we want to add our twine. Do we want to put it in the middle? No, that's too predictable. Let's go this way. Two. And that'll be a three, a big old hairy three times. And then I'm just gonna tie a little knot. And you see, I'm doing this before. It should be obvious, but it's not always obvious, but I'm doing it before I adhere it to the base. And sometimes I have to remind myself to do it before. Lots of times I have to do it in my live classroom classes. But, The minute you forget, you'll scold yourself and be like, blast it, that would have looked so cute on my card. And you'll know what I'm talking about. The minute you do it, and I don't know why I do this, I always do three together and three a little bit separate at the bottom. I'm like, what? So let's see, I think, where did I put my baby? Oh, I'm a nut girl. I didn't know where it was. Wait, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, my stars. Okay. I'm making myself laugh so I don't cry. I'm teasing, being a little dramatic. Just to make you laugh. Just to make you laugh. All right, let's see where we want our bird and then where we want our little sentiment. I'm gonna tuck the sentiment up and under the uh, twine. I'm loving this twine. I'm really liking it. This little bird, he's so stinking cute. You know what he needs? He needs legs. Let's put some legs. And here's the little trick we're gonna do. Those legs look backwards, so it must be these legs. I've got two birds. They point in different directions, and one fits in the punch, one does not. All right, so we're gonna give him some black memento legs. And with this one, we're gonna pop him up. We're gonna put the little baby legs right onto our card. How easy does that make our life? We don't have to fussy cut it, nothing, nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and pop it up. We're almost done with our card. You've already learned your technique. Spritz and splatter. I really do think I should have added some color to the spritzer. I think I would have liked it better, but that's how we learn is to experiment. And that is the reason I wanted to get on here and not have everything quite as perfect and polished and prepped as I want and like to do with your videos, our videos. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, could you just eat him up? Okay, let's glue them to the base and call it a day. And what I want you to tell me in the comments is, have you ever done some of the mistakes? Like, let's call them mistakes, but no, let's call them experiments. Have you ever made any experiments like I've made today on the video? Like, not knowing, not remembering, that a sentiment on a circle cannot be upside down, or that the spritzer, I learned by trial and error, would look better. That particular, I like the splatter, but the spritzer part, I'm really feeling the need to have the color inside the actual tube, the spritzing tube. The spritzing tube, you know that's, the spritzer is only $3, three twenty-five. That is it. How cool is that? All right, so now we've got, you can see why I didn't want to use the clouds. I just like that one better. I debated about putting the sentiment on the clouds. So tell me in the comments, do you make experiments? Well, you know they're, oh, you guys, what? What am I forgetting? Tell me in the comments what I'm forgetting. Those of you that watch my videos, here it is. Yeah, we are. Oh, my stars, you know. I have to put bling with my, ooh, let's put it right there. Bling with my ribbon. I just do. I think I'm just gonna put one because there's a lot going on with our baby bird and with our beautiful uh, fall colors. All right, the 
October card class is gonna have fall colors. I think you're gonna need it. Use the link with the host code and you can actually, when you order, so I think you're gonna have to order some blending brushes. I think you're gonna have to order some blender pens and you definitely need the $3.25 spritzer. Anyway, when you get those, you can get my October card kit for free, for card kits to designs. So that's my commercial. That's what I think you need from today's class, today's technique class. I hope you had a great time. I'm gonna turn the camera up now so that we can say goodbye. And I want you to remember the three things. I want you to remember to subscribe. I want you to be able to find me again. I want you to remember to like the video. Leave me a comment if you want. I love hearing from you. I love to get your emails, your messages. I love seeing your pictures of your creations on my Facebook page. And I love um, hearing from you. Oh, I almost touched the camera. And if you get seasick like I do, that would bother you. I'm so sorry. I caught myself though. And I also want you to remember if you like techniques. I have an entire playlist called techniques. Creative name, am I right? Techniques. So anyway, go to the playlist called techniques and find you some more techniques and learn some more cute and fun tips and tricks. Thanks for watching today, you guys. See you soon. Bye.